This is another modification video for my AR Drone 2.0. I've done one modification video in the past that focused on my vinyl wrapped hulls. This video builds off of that one. I'm focusing on my carbon fiber hull here in the beginning. Of course I already installed Teflon sealed bearings and the drone feet. I get a lot of questions on where these can be obtained. The drone feet can be purchased on eBay. Just search for drone feet. They can also be purchased at Lowe's or Home Depot. Uh, there you would call them grab tab bolt covers. Uh, they're usually only sold in black, but you can find them online in multiple colors. My first new modification are these gear protectors. These help to protect the gears in the event of a crash. The protectors obviously hit the obstructions first, keeping the gears safe and keeping you from losing teeth from the gears. I've installed a set with a carbon fiber look to it. With the LEDs on, they look great as they allow the LED light to shine through. My next modification is a big one. Instead of using the unreliable Wi-Fi to control the AR drone, I've decided to install a 2.4 GHz transmitter and receiver. Wi-Fi is only good to about 150 feet and can drop out as you're flying the drone, causing issues and possibly causing crashes during flight. Flying with Wi-Fi can also cause what's known as flyaways. This is when the drone flies out of control range for the Wi-Fi, but the drone keeps going, eventually flying away. Good luck finding it after that. The RC modification is simple. Total modification takes 10 minutes. You just locate the receiver, as I've done here, and then run the green, blue, purple, and gray wire to the serial port and plug it in. I've cleverly hidden the wire in the foam body of the AR drone, then covered it with carbon fiber vinyl. This kit allows for recording of video to the USB and still allows for flip control. It also features a fail safe that keeps the drone from the flyaway scenario. Unlike Wi Fi control, if the drone flies out of range, it will automatically land itself. I'm not sure why Parrot didn't have something like this installed from the factory, but they don't. The interface is custom and allows for precision control of the AR drone. It's also easily removable so you can swap between regular Wi-Fi and RC control. The transmitter and receiver is a six channel setup so you can use this transmitter on other RC projects as well. So basically you go from an out of the box range of 150 feet with Wi-Fi to 150 to 250 meters with this radio. Once installed it takes a couple of minutes to get used to but once you do you'll never look back. If you do have an iOS or Android device and the AR drone app you can still connect to the drone at the same time and watch and record video while you fly using the 2.4 gigahertz transmitter. There's also a visual low battery alert. At 15 percent of battery capacity the LEDs on the drone will flash red letting you know it's time to land. With this installed, I decided to dress up the old carbon fiber hull. I added some die cut decals from a friend in the UK. He sent the AR drone text in all white, but I painted the 2.0 portion orange as that's how Parrot shows the logo. These are the results. I wanted to keep a solid carbon fiber feel to the drone. I think this looks great, definitely better than stock. So the carbon fiber addition is somewhat hard to see when flying, so I decided to take a sports car approach. When you want to be seen in a sports car, you go yellow. This yellow hole really stands out in flight and is much easier to track. 